Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about element number 105, dubnium. Dubnium, DB, an artificially produced radioactive transuranium element in group VB of the periodic table. Atomic number 105. The discovery of dubnium, element 105, like that of rutherfordium, element 104, has been a matter of dispute between Soviet and American scientists. The Soviets may have synthesized a few atoms of element 105 in 1967. Here's a map of the world in 1967 at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia, USSR. Here we have the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research. By bombarding americium-243 with neon-22 ions, producing isotopes of element 105 having mass numbers of 260 and 261 and half-lives of 0.1 second and 3 seconds, respectively. Again, a half-life is simply the amount of time that it takes for half of the amount of the original element to be left after the decomposition. Because the Dubna group did not propose a name for the element at the time, they announced their preliminary data, a practice that has been customary following the discovery of a new element. It was surmised by American scientists that the Soviets did not have strong experimental evidence to substantiate their claims. Soviet scientists contended, however, that they did not propose a name in 1967 because they preferred to accumulate more data about the chemical and physical properties of the element before doing so. What are the chemical properties of dubnium? Properties of dubnium. The metal behaves as a solid at temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius. Dubnium is a highly radioactive element with only one single stable isotope, dubnium-268, which has a half-life measuring about only 32 hours and gets decayed through the process of spontaneous fission, according to byjus.com. After completing further experiments, they proposed the name Niels Borium. In 1970, a group of investigators at the Lawrence Radiation Laboratory of the University of California at Berkeley announced that they had synthesized isotope 260, whereupon they proposed the name Hanium for the element, in honor of Otto Hahn, the discoverer of nuclear fission. Otto Hahn was a German chemist who was a pioneer in the fields of radioactivity and radiochemistry. He is referred to as the father of nuclear chemistry. Hahn and Lise Meitner discovered radioactive isotopes of radium, thorium, proactinum, and uranium. Dubnium is a synthetic chemical element with the symbol DB and atomic number 105. It is highly radioactive. The most stable known isotope, dubnium-268, has a half-life of about 16 hours. This greatly limits extended research on the element, according to Wikipedia. The American team could not duplicate the Soviet experiment, but when its members bombarded californium-249 with the nuclei of nitrogen-15, seen here, here's some more information on nitrogen-15, Isotopes of nitrogen-15. Nitrogen has two isotopes, nitrogen-14 and nitrogen-15, both of which are used in various applications. Nitrogen-15 is used for the production of the radioisotope O15, which is used in PET. Nitrogen-15 is also used to study the uptake of nitrogen in plants and the metabolism of proteins in the human body, according to webelements.com. So again, combining californium-249 with the nuclei of nitrogen-15 atoms, they produced Honium-260, which has a half-life of about 1.6 seconds. As further evidence of their discovery, the scientists at Berkeley measured the amount of energy emitted by Honium-260 as it decayed, as well as the elements produced in the process. These characteristics were quite different from those of previously known elements in the periodic system. The International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry ultimately determined that the element be named Dubnium. How radioactive is Dubnium? It is highly radioactive. The most stable known isotope, dubnium-268, has a half-life of about 16 hours. This greatly limits extended research on the element. Dubnium does not occur naturally on Earth and is produced artificially because of its radioactivity. Elements that are radioactive are not as common because over time they decay into other elements. For all those touring the periodic table, you are Dubnium-105, the super heavies. Its symbol is DB, its atomic number is 105, its atomic weight is 268.13, its color is unknown. Its standard state is solid at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Its classification is metallic. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub. I'm a champ, not a chump. The longest lived of all the super heavyweights. With an average of 28 hours before my atom decays, there's plenty of time to do some chemistry on me relative to the other radioactive elements. I added that part. 
This places me firmly in group 5 with Tantalum, Niobium, and Vanadium. If you're interested in learning about those elements, I'll leave a link in the description below. My name comes from the Russian lab in which I was first discovered. Dubna, Russia is a town in Russia, and Dubnium is element 105. Dubnium's date of discovery was in 1968. This is a map of 1967, but let's pull up a map of 1968. Here we have a map of 1968 CE the date of discovery of dubnium. Its density is 21.6 grams per centimeters cube. Its melting point and boiling point are unknown. And finally, dubnium element 105 was discovered by two independent teams in Russia and the US. Dubnium was eventually named after the Russian city of Dubna, which is home to the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research, JINR, the center of atomic research in the country. Dubnium's atomic mass is 268, its state is a solid, and its discovery was in 1968 by a team led by Georgi Florov, and in 1970 by a team led by Albert Giorso. Georgi Florov was a Soviet physicist who is known for his discovery of spontaneous fission and his important contribution toward the crystallography and material science, for which he was honored with many awards, according to Wikipedia. Albert Giorso was an American nuclear scientist and co-discoverer of a record 12 chemical elements on the periodic table. His research career spanned six decades, from the early 1940s to the late 1990s, according to Wikipedia. So how was Dubnium explained in X minutes or less in as short amount of time as possible? Once again, if you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, stay tuned for future videos upcoming this year. Once again, thank you everyone for watching. Have a great one.